Hi, it's Mel here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get VMware Workstation for free. As of May 2024, VMware was purchased by Broadcom and they've now made the software free for personal use. So now if you're a business or using it for any kind of professional business use, then you must actually still pay for a license for this software. But if you're a student or just want to learn more about VMware Workstation, you can actually get this software for free and play around with it at home. Now, what does VMware Workstation do? It actually allows you to install Windows inside a virtual container so that you can play around with it on your PC. So it's actually great for testing out software. If you're not certain about the software, you might actually check it in a virtual machine first and that way it's not going to infect your computer with any viruses or have conflicts with other software and stuff. Now, there is another way you can do that as well using Windows Sandbox, but for today I'm just going to talk about VMware Workstation. So as you'll see here, this was the article that VMware released. And what I've discovered is it's actually quite tricky for people who are not perhaps familiar with IT to figure out how to download and install this software. So firstly, I'll explain, we've got Workstation and Fusion. So if you have a Mac, you can use Fusion. If you've got a PC, you can use Workstation. Now, there are some caveats with the Macintosh because ever since uh, Apple Macs moved away from the Intel chipset, that means your standard Windows will not install, even in a virtual machine, on those Apple Macs. Just be aware there, there are workarounds and you can use an ARM-based version of Windows. I'm not going to talk about how to do that. So we're just going to get started with Workstation. Now you'll see here, so there's a bit of info here, VMware Fusion Pro Download, VMware Workstation Pro Download. So uh, I'm actually just going to click on there for now. This is going to take us to Broadcom and this is where it gets a little bit confusing for users. Now, Broadcom may at any time actually change this experience. I hope they do because it is really confusing because the first thing it's asking is for the username, whereas you haven't actually created an account just yet, and it doesn't tell you that. Let's actually click on the login button, and we're going to head to the register. I hate the fact that they've made that grey. Whoever did this is not very good at designing user interfaces. And I'm going to type in an email address. So I'm just creating an account now for the first time with this email address. And I have a one-time code. I just need to write in some details so I can get access to this. Now it's asking me to unlock additional services by building my profile. Uh, I'm just going to do that later. Okay, so I'm wanting to get VMware Workstation and now it's telling me nothing. Where do I go? I actually need to log in. It hasn't even told me that. All right, so I'm going to click on login. And here I now enter my email address I just signed up with. Type in my password. Okay, so once again, now I'm actually logged in, but again, it still hasn't told me how to get the software. So now I'm going to help you find your way to the VMware software. So we go to v VMware Cloud Foundation. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to my downloads. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to go to the search box and type VMware Workstation and hit enter. Now, and here you've got a choice between player or pro. Now, player is a scaled down version that was always free. We've now, VMware Workstation Pro is what used to have license fees, but is now free for personal use. So that's the one I'm going to click on. Now, generally, for the most part, you're probably going to go for the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro. 
Now, guess what? We found it, but it's still not over. The tricky bits are still not over. So I'm going to click on that latest version. And you'll see here there's a download button and it says screening required. And here's a little other little hiccup that many people find when trying to download this software. Up here on the top left, there's this, I agree to the terms and conditions. So I recommend you go and read them and then check that box. And now that will unlock your download button. So now it says prior to downloading this file, additional verification is required. Do I want to proceed? I'm going to click yes. And here I now have to put in some additional details about myself in my profile. So I'm going to quickly fill that out now. And finally, after all that, I can click on the download button again. And here I have my software. So it has now finally downloaded, but I, I just hope, I hope it helps you navigate how to download that software for free.